get ready with me for work. I have to wash my face because I've been out in the sun and I don't want to put makeup over this sweaty face. So let's do something with that. The wash off like the pre existing oil and the lines and sunscreen and all that stuff. Did you know you actually have to like massage your face for at least a minute to kind of get it in there? If you travel a lot or sweat, please get the spray. Do yourself a service. I just ran a new size. I'm gonna link in my description, but it just it's supposed to help with like acne and stuff because it has like what does it have in here? Water, sodium chloride, and hypochlorous acid. Hydration. I mean, there we go. The hydration. I'm glowing a little bit. And I'm gone pretty simple my skincare, so I'm just gonna apply moisturizer just like this random travel sized moisturizer from YouTube people. I actually quite like it, it's no frills, but it is pretty sweet. Use my makeup back, and we're going for a natural makeup. Like no makeup look basically. Because I'm just gonna just sweat everything off and we don't really need that. So I don't have that many products used and I do it pretty quick. I'm gonna just go with a light layer of this cushion. This is from Solasu and it's in the color 17. There we go. Just a thin layer. Oh, but before that, of course. This is the Dalva spray. Just give a little bit of a spritz. To count. I love my sprays and it give glowy. So I'm just gonna put a very, very thin layer of this because it is so hot and I want to clog my pores too, too much. So just one layer just to kind of even my skin tone out. And then I've been using this lately. This is a new product. This is the Rare Beauty uh, press powder. It's supposed to be tinted. <laughs> I'm using this power puff that I've been keeping the original packaging. I didn't want to buy the 20 something dollar power puff, so I bought this one from Sephora. And this kind of mattifies the glowiness because it is summertime. It gets like I get really really glowy to the point I look oily and greasy so we don't want that so we definitely want to kind of like mattify a little bit and this kind of provides coverage I worn it on its own and I don't know how I feel about it I feel like you really have to have nice skin to be able to pull this off because it's very minimal to like coverage I'm just putting it really where I normally get oily, but kind of just packing it everywhere just for some extra coverage because I kind of need it. Um, what I like about this is it's talc free, and that is a ingredient that is supposed to trigger acne, so you don't want to trigger acne. So that's why I'm kind of look for products that don't have talc in it, which this one doesn't apparently. Good. 
Next, because I'm lazy, I'll usually kind of go in with like these eye sticks. But I don't know what color I want. Did I bring it? Oh, this one. It's like a champagne color. And it's just a quick, I just swipe over my eyes. That's eyeshadow because I don't bring eyeshadow palette with me because I travel a lot and just craft. And I don't want to pack brushes either. I get compliments all the time because you can never go wrong with Eagle Cell and glitter. Now, I'm very particular what kind of glitter I use because I had an incident, uh, I believe, last year where I had to go to the ER to get glitter removed out of my cornea. So, chunky glitter is a no for me. I only can wear fine glitter. And this is because I wear contacts, so. I have a lash lift, so I'm just using this clear gel just to kind of give my lashes a little bit of a boost so they don't want over mascara. And it kind of just helps them stay up a little bit. I think I've had it for a month, so now it's like kind of going back to its regular shape, so I have to get it redone again. Elf Duo Lash and Brow Gel for my brows. I use this Unleashed Pomade and I know I do my makeup in a weird order don't judge so I'm just gonna tame my brow hair something about using pomade to kind of make your hair go in a certain direction it makes me feel a little so put together I do have um, for my makeup on my brows so I don't fill it in but also I've had this for years and I do feel like I need to get a refresher just because it's fading super great okay now the last two things I do is contour and blush I don't do anything crazy I don't even know if I do it right but I learned recently that for round faces the contour kind of like there and then down here and not too much so it doesn't look muddy this is the Fenty Beauty in Amber, if anyone cares. And then the Tower 28 Beach Please in Magic Hour and I hit pan on it. This is like one of my favorite blushes. I use this all the time. Now I use my fingers to blend, but I always start with blush first. And apparently you're supposed to put blush down here for round faces. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna look off in the mirror and not the camera because I don't know. It just it's more real life because the camera filters stuff. So people said to kind of like drag it down like that if you have brown cheeks and I do. And then I kind of take the contour and just blend it together. There's so many times where I keep forgetting to blend my contour and today's not going to be the day because you can really tell if you don't blend it at all. That's pretty much the makeup look. I have to finish off with a setting spray at the get it though. Whoa, that's like a really fine stain. This is the makeup look. I'll be back with my uniform. Okay, my scarf is acting a little bit weird, but yeah, this is the full makeup look. And here I just throw it back for my work day. Let me know if you like this video or what you want to see next time. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.